Red Hawk Playoff Baseball, Frontier Community Access Television. Western Mass Championship game for the third time in the last four years following back-to-back -back Western Mass Championships in 2016 and 2017. First, the Wakona Reserves. Number six, Zach Bernardo. Number 10, Austin Ruffley. Number 15, Jake Hart. Number 22, Xavier Wellington. Number 25, Zach Archambault. Number 27, Aiden Borowski. Number 29, Danny Wilson. Number 33, Dylan Melly. Number 44, Luke Hescock. And number 77, Rob Genoway. And now for the Warriors starting lineup. The center fielder, number 11, Jake Guy. Left fielder, number five, Kevin Huben. Second baseman, number nine, Caden Frazier. The designated hitter, number 34, Gabe Davis. The catcher, number 21, Joey Warrenick. Right fielder, number 14, Bob Archambault. The first baseman is number two, Chad Howes. Pitcher, number 36, Tanner Hill. The shortstop, number seven, Gabe Verdi. And at third base, number 24, Kyle Lee. The assistant coaches are Mr. Pat Cuban, Mr. Sean Wilson, Mr. Jake Boylard, and Mr. Neil Genoway. The head coach of the Warriors is Mr. Ernie Wellington. <coughs> And now let's meet our designated home team in the first base dugout, wearing the navy blue and white, the number two seed in Division Three, with a record of 19 and three, the Frontier Red Hawks. <laughs> Frontier also looking to reach the Western Mass final for what would be the third time in the last four years and seeking its first Western Mass title in six years, going back to 2013. First, the Frontier Reserves. Number 11, Porter Clancy. Number 13, Gabe Duchinski. Number 15, Dylan Appenell. Number 21, Dylan Poland. Number 22, Nick Jarvis. Number 25, Christian Tolona. Number 45, Xavier Santiago. And Peter Carey. Now for Frontier's starting lineup, the center fielder, number 10, Connor Wakis. Shortstop, number six, Brian Bauman. The first baseman, number seven, Kiernan Freeman. Third baseman, number five, Corbin Blight. Designated hitter, number 23, Jacob Bryant. 
The pitcher, number nine, Matt Hildreth. Left fielder, number four, Kalen Evans. The catcher, number two, Garrett DeForest. Second baseman, number 18, Kyle Barnes. And the right fielder, number one, Zach Raynaud. The assistant coaches are Mr. Tim Capuano, Mr. Ben Ruddick, Mr. Brennan McKenna, and Mr. Dave Blanchett. The head coach of the Red Hawks is Mr. Chris Williams. The umpires for our Western Mass Division III semifinal. Behind the plate, Mr. Dan Franzik. At first base, Mr. Mike Descani. At third base, Mr. Arthur Burke. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Semifinals from Lord and Field at UMass Amherst as the number seven Wakona Warriors take on the number two Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Alec Echo and Kevin Murphy as a perfect day for baseball as Frontier on a tear. Winners of two straight in the postseason look to punch their ticket to championship Saturday and a date with the winner of Southwick and Taconic, two teams that are playing as we speak at Westfield. And this has been the goal of this uh, Frontier Red Hawks team from the beginning. Last year, after bowing out without a championship, this year they want in, and they want to head to championship Saturday, and they certainly, I think, have one of the better teams, uh, and certainly... In a best, the best position they've been in in a while to go there. On the mound for the Red Hawks today, Matt Hildreth. Hildreth, of course, pitched a very, very solid performance in an opening round route of the Putnam Beavers at Frontier. And certainly he's got a great supporting cast. Hildreth was the big, uh, the big gun offensively in the last win, the semifinals, or the quarterfinals rather, against Athol with four RBIs. So Hildreth will try and use his arm to shut down this Wakona Warrior lineup, which of course has some power. Gabe Davis, the DH, is a deep threat for sure. And they've got a good balanced squad. Of course, these Berkshire teams, always a wild card. In whatever sport it is, he always comes down usually at the end to a Berkshire team versus a Franklin Hampshire team. And we will see what happens today. And the Hawks come in, the number two seed. Taconic is the number one seed. We would expect they would be able to advance over a Southwark team that's seeded, I believe, number eight. But a great day for baseball here at UMass. This is a big stage for this Red, Red Hawk team. And warm-up tosses being taken. Of course, the battery of Hildreth and his catcher all season long, Garrett DeForest. First base is Kiernan Freeman. Second baseman is Kyle Barnes. Shortstop is Brian Bauman. Kiernan Freeman, I meant, I meant the first base. Uh, left fielder is Kalen Evans in center field. Connor Wakeson and in right field uh, is Zach Renaud. And the DH today is going to be Jake Bryant. Hey, Expecting a pretty good crowd here. It's always tough when it's this time of the afternoon, but I expect that the Wakona Warriors, of course, made a nice... Have a nice contingent here coming down from the Berkshires, and I expect Frontier to have a huge crowd here, being this close to South Deerfield. Stepping into the batter's box for the Wakona Warriors, the leadoff hitter, Jake Guy. He's the center fielder. Getting off for Wakona in the top of the first inning. Center fielder, number 11, Jake Guy. Hildreth had the mound. And we are ready to rock from Warden Field at UMass Amherst. Hildreth's first offering is a ball just out, oh, a strike just outside. 
Nothing in one to Jake Guy. Guy, fly ball, actually pop up behind second base. And that's going to be hauled in by Barnes. One out. So Guy pops out to the second baseman, and the batter is going to be Kevin Huba on the left fielder. The left fielder, number five, Kevin Huben. So one down, Hildreth from the windup. And the pitch. Huban bunts it, and it's going to hit foul. As charging in on it was Corbin Blight, but just out of his reach. I went one to Huben. Outfield playing straight away. Renaud shaded a little bit toward the line. Right. Pop up behind first base, Kieran Freeman. And he can't make the play. I think that the sun was too much for him there. So it'll be a, a strike. 0 oh 2. As Kiernan, that sun is brutal out there. And just could not quite pull it in. Oh, and two to Hubin. Hildreth winds the pitch. Foul tip. Comes back here. That keeps the count at no balls and two strikes. Luckily, we have some netting here. The first time we've been unexposed at one of these games this season. Hildreth, the mind up at the pitch. Foul back. This one's going to be out of play, way out of play. Onto the road. So Huben making Hildreth work for the second out. Hildreth winds up the pitch. Strike three and a curveball swinging. Huben. Got field on that hook. Two away, and that brings up Caden Frazier, the second baseman for Wakona. Second baseman, number nine, Caden Frazier. High outside, ball one. Connor Wakis appears to be set up on the outside corner a bit. Hildreth, wind up in the pitch. Again outside, two balls, no strikes. That's the first time I believe Wakona's hitters have been ahead on the count on Hildreth in this game. <laughs> Ball inside, so Frazier Head on the count, 3-0. and oh. We'll see if he has the green light here. Hildreth winds the pitch. And it's going to be a two-out walk for Caden Frazier, who squared the bunt. Let it go. So Wakona has their first base runner, and the batter is going to be Gabe Davis, the designated hitter, big number 34. Designated hitter, number 34, Gabe Davis. Hildreth from the stretch. Frazier leads off first. And the pitch. Inside corner, strike one. Owen won the count. Frazier leading off first. Not a huge lead, but being held on by Freeman. Now, Hildreth goes back. Hey, nice. 
Hildreth. The pitch. Line drive right at Brian Bauman, who snags it for the out to retire the side. No runs, no hits. Nobody, a one man left on. We go to the bottom of the first. Wakona nothing, Frontier coming up. This is the MIAA Division Three Western Mass Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Now we go to the bottom of the first inning. It'll be Connor Waitkiss, Brian Bauman, and Kiernan Freeman. The three up for the Frontier Red Hawks in the first frame. Going up against a big righty, Tanner Hill on the mound for the Wakona Warriors. Leading off for Frontier in the home half of the first inning, the center fielder, number 10, Connor Wakis. Strike down the middle, 0-1. Ball outside, it evens the count, one ball, one strike. Inside, two and one the count to Connor Wakis, the speedy center fielder. If he gets on, he is gonna be a threat to run. Wakis, fly ball, center field. A playable. One out, and the batter will be Brian Bauman. Bauman reached base and scored two runs in the quarterfinal matchup against Athol. Got on base by a couple of errors. He'd love to make some contact here. Had a single as well in that game. Bauman, one of the seniors on this team, would love to make a Western Mass Championship one of his final acts in a Frontier uniform. High and outside, ball one. In, oh, inside caught the corner. Evens the count at one ball, one strike. Strike on the outside corner. Good pitch, that makes the count one ball, two strikes. Line drive, base hit in the left field. So Bauman's aboard with one out. Good solid single and the batter will be Kiernan Freeman. Karen had a monster game against Putnam in that 16 to one route in the opening round. Number seven, Kiernan Freeman. Kiernan bats from the left side, Bauman dancing off first. And the pitch. Ball outside. One and oh the count to Kiernan.
ball two way outside. So Freeman ahead on the count, two balls and no strikes. Bauman leads off first. Stretch and a pitch. Three and oh to Freeman. So Hill is in danger of losing Freeman. That would load the bases for cleanup hitter Corbin Blight. So Frontier with an early opportunity here to put some runs on the board. And four straight pitches, four straight balls. So Kiernan's aboard. Ducks on the pond for Corbin Blight, the third baseman. Blight getting some last second coaching from Chris Williams down at the third baseline. A Carver would love to get a hold of one and put a crooked number up here and give Hildreth some breathing room. Number five, Corbin Blight. Bowen now second. Freeman off first. The pitch. Inside for a strike. Tell you, this umpire is strike zone. He's really got the inside corner pegged. 0-1 to Blight. Almost the same spot. That's a ball. One ball, one strike. Corbin likes to be right on top of the plate. Ooh, and he got hit. I'm going to say he fouled it off, though. Got the bat. Just got the heel of the bat. So that's going to be technically a strike. Again, Corbin crowding the inside of that plate. Hill's not going to give him any quarter there. Two and one the count. And foul that one off. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. One out, two on. In the frontier half of the first inning in this Western Mass Division Three semifinal. The winner goes to championship Saturday. The loser goes home for the season. And Corbin goes down swinging. Strike three. So two gone. And the batter will be Jacob Bryant. Designated hitter, number 23, Jacob Bryant. J-Man's got plenty of power. Looking like he's in the best shape of his illustrious sporting career at Frontier. Ball outside, that was a curve ball. Catcher was able to hang on to it and keep it in front of him, so nobody advances. 1-0 to Bryant. Base hit left field. Bauman's going to turn third. He's going to be waved through. Here's the throw to the plates, and he's in there. Safe. one nothing Frontier. RBI single for Jake Bryant. So Frontier draws first blood. As Bauman had the throw beat, they cut it off and tried to nail Freeman at second, but they couldn't get him. So a two out RBI single for Jacob Bryant. And the batter is going to be Matty Hildreth, the pitcher. The pitcher number nine, Matt Hildreth. Ooh, way inside, oh, and a 1-0 and oh to Hildreth. Like I said, Hildreth had four RBIs in that game against Athol. Love to keep it going here. Line drive, base hit to left field. Freeman is going to run through the throw to the plate, and he is safe at that plate. Runners advanced. RBI single for Hildreth. Freeman scores and it's two zip frontier.
Two nothing Frontier. The, left fielder, the batter is going to be Kalen Evans. Runners at second and third for Evans. Curveball catches the corner, strike one. Well, this is just what Frontier wanted. Start off quick. Another curveball. Evan swings at it. 0 oh, 2 the count. Brian at third, Hilda at the second. Evan at the plate. Strike three. Ooh, right at the knees. So Evans caught looking. That retires the side. But Frontier puts two on the board. At the end of one, it's Frontier two. And Lacona, nothing. This is the MIAA Western Mass Division Three Baseball Tournament from Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the second inning. It's going to be the catcher, Ronick, Archambault, and Howes. The catcher, number 21, Joey Warnick. Warnick facing Hildred. Frontier with a 2 nothing lead. Pitch. Strike down the middle, 0-1. Warnick shows bunt, and I don't know if he fouled that off or not. I don't think he made contact. I think it, which it went off of uh, the catcher, so we're even at the count. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Makes the count one ball and two strikes to Warnick, the catcher. Just low, evens the count of two balls, two strikes. Pop up, it's coming straight back. And just out of the way. That keeps the count two and two. Curveball that loads the count. Three balls, two strikes to Orona. High ball four. So after getting hit on the count, Warnick is aboard. It's the second base runner for Wakona. And the batter will be Bob Archibald, the right fielder. Right fielder, number 14, Bob Archambault. Hildreth from the stretch. Quick move back. Freeman applies the tag, but he's safe. Hildreth. Pitch. Outside, all one. One and O to Archambault. That one catches the outside corner, even as the count of one ball, one strike. Warnick steals. Throw by Garrett to second, and he's got him. He's out. Garrett DeForest guns out Warnick. Yeah. 
One out for Frontier. Warnick got a good jump, but has a perfect throw by Garrett DeForest. So the base is clean. Two balls, one strike to Archambault. High ball three. Three balls, one strike. Line drive, base hit to right field is Warnick. And with the pitch opposite field, and he's aboard, so Wakona has their first hit of this game. And the batter will be the first baseman, Chad Howes. First baseman, number two, Chad Howes. Archambault leads off first. Hildreth from the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball, base hit down the left field line. And Evans fires it back in, so. Wakona's in the business, two consecutive singles. And the batter's gonna be the pitcher, Tanner Hill. Blight was playing a little bit toward the bag in second. And even if he had been playing the line, that would have been tough to get that. That was, that was hugging the line all the way. The pitcher, number 36, Tanner Hill. So here comes Hill, the lefty. Archibald at second. How is it first? Hildreth in trouble for the first time today. Pitch strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. Big hole between second and first. Bowman checks back the runner. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. And the pitch. Line drive, base hit up the middle. Wakis fires it in. To the plate, he's, oh, and Wakis, or rather, uh, DeForest could not quite handle the throw. Archambault scores, and it's two to one, Frontier. Howes advances to third base, and Hill advances to second, and the batter is gonna be Gabe Verdi. Chris Williams is gonna come out to talk to his pitcher as well, Kona has rattled off three straight hits and is on the board. I think it's a good thing that uh, DeForest cut down Warnick on that stolen base. Otherwise, we have a lead here for Wakona. The shortstop, number seven, Gabe Verdi. Verdi now at the plate. If he reaches, we'll go back to the top of the order and Jake got. Ooh, high and inside, ball one. Let's go, nine. Come on, nine. Right. Work hard here now, Matt. Work hard. And inside again, 2-0. and oh. So Hildreth appearing to have some control problems here. He was pinpointing the first inning, and now he's running into some problems. Three and zero. Oh. Showing bunt, strike down the middle. 
I don't think he was going to bunt there. I think he was just trying to make a point. So three and one the count to Verdi. Runners at second and third for Wakona. And the pitch, low ball four. So Verde walks and the bases are loaded. For the top of the order, Jake Guy, who lined out to the second baseman to lead this game off. Center fielder, number 11, Jake Guy. The play is gonna be at the plate. Blight playing in close. Hildreth is going to go from the stretch. And the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. That's going to score at least one run. And the bases are still loaded. It's an RBI single for Jake Guy. And we're tied at two. That's six straight Wakona Warriors that have reached. One out, base is still loaded, and Kevin Huben is at the plate. He struck out his first time up. Huben's going to bunt. It's going to be a suicide squeeze. It's going to score a run. It may score a second. No, he's going to hold it third. So a suicide bunt squeeze by Huben scores Hill. And it's 3-2. Wakona has their first lead. Let's go, let's go. And everybody moves up. Second baseman, number nine, Caden Frazier. Caden Frazier is up. He walked his first time up. Bases are still loaded with one out. High and inside. So it's coming apart a bit for Hildreth here in this uh, second inning. Inside, 2-0. and oh. Xavier Santiago is going to warm up in the bullpen. You may see an early hook here for Hildreth as the X-Man is down there throwing. Gabe Gachinski. Action in the Frontier bullpen. Curveball. Did not get the call. 3 and 0 oh to Frazier. One out. Bases loaded. Big inning potentially for Wakona. Squares to bunt. Ball four. And they're going to walk in a run. So Verde scores on the walk. Everybody moves up. And the batter is going to be the cleanup hitter, Gabe Davis. Lined out to Bauman his first time up. 4-2. Wakona with the lead. And only one out. And the base is still loaded for the big man. Tell you, one swing in the back could bust this thing wide open. Outside, ball one. This is unfamiliar territory for Frontier in these playoffs. I think in most of the last half of the season, they have not been down like this. Line drive, base hit to left. One run is in, and that's all that will score. RBI single for Davis, scores Guy, and it's 5-2. The catcher, number 21, Joey Warnick. Warnick now up. <clears throat> he walked his first time up, strike one. Excuse me, ball one to Warnick. So the Warriors have done some damage, looking to do more here in this second inning. Swing and a miss outside. Evens the count, one ball, one strike. 
Hawks need to get an out here. Strike on the inside corner. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. To Warren. Caught stealing. And strike three on the curveball. That's a big out. So two gone, and the batter is going to be Archambault, who singled this inning and scored the first run. So Wakona has batted around the right fielder on the Hawks. Number 14, Bob Archambault. Ball inside. Third ball, in for a strike. Evens the count at one ball, one strike. All two in the dirt. Two balls, one strike. Two out, bases loaded. Five runs across. Only three hits for Wakona. Foul back. Evens the count of two balls, two strikes. Curveball, short rounder, goes foul. Count remains, two balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded. Lacona, 5-2 over Frontier. It's been a five run inning for the Warriors. Pop up, Bauman under it, and he makes the play to retire the side, but the Warriors do some damage. They put five across the end of one and a half. Lord and Field at UMass, it's Wakona five, Frontier two. This is the MIAA Division Three Western Mass semifinals on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Al Gecko, Kevin Murphy back out here at Lord and Field at UMass Amherst. Do this this year for as the Frontier Red Hawks, for the first time this postseason, are trailing in a playoff game. They trail 5-2 to, to, to the Wakona Warriors. It will be Garrett DeForest, Kyle Barnes, and Connor Wakis, the batters for the Hawks. Leading off for Frontier. As Matty Hildreth got roughed up. The catcher, number two, Garrett in that DeForest. For the second inning. So DeForest will step in as the Hawks try to Climb back out of this. Swing and a miss, strike one to Garrett. Thank you very much, appreciate it, thanks. Are oh, you keeping it? Oh, the one to DeForest. Inside, evens the count, one, oh, actually they say it hit him, so DeForest hit by a pitch. And the batter will be Kyle Barnes. So Frontier has a base runner. Second baseman, number 18, Kyle Barnes. The Forrest leads off first. Strike down the middle. The Forrest is going to run. Ball's in the dirt. DeForest will take second without a throw. So it's a stolen base for Garrett. So runner in scoring position for Barnes. 
count even at one ball and one strike. Hill from the stretch. Ground ball to short. Oh! Bobbled by the shortstop. It's going to be an error on the shortstop. Barnes reaches E6. So Frontier has two runners aboard. Nobody out. And Connor Waite kisses the batter. Connor flied out to center field his first time up. So the Hawks. The center fielder, number 10. A couple of miscues, and they're back in business with Ducks in the Pond for Waite kiss on the top of the order. DeForest is going to try and take third to throw. He's out. That wasn't even close. So DeForest is caught stealing. Barnes advances to second. So there's one out. Hey, one to Wakis. Curveball, strike, catches the outside corner. Nothing in two. Brian Bauman on deck, if he makes it. Karen and Freeman. Ground ball to third. Bobbled, throw to first. And again, an error on the third baseman. Wakis is aboard. Barnes remains at second, and the batter will be Bauman. So, Wakona giving Frontier some breaks here, which you do not want to do, because they can burn you. Shortstop, number six, Brian Bauman. Bauman singled, scored a run his first time up. Ooh, and he got hit. So Bauman will take his base. So two hit batsmen in the inning. He goes to first. Wake is to second. Barnes to third. Base is loaded for Kiernan Freeman. So the Hawks have an opportunity here to take advantage of a bit of a comedy of errors. One good tag here could put Frontier back on top. First baseman, number seven, Kiernan Freeman. One out, bases loaded for K Dog. Outside, ball one. End up and the pitch. Outside ball two. Freeman. Base hit to right field. One run in. Two runs coming in. Throw to the plate. Too late. Two RBI single for Kiernan Freeman. And it's 5-4. So Barnes and Wake has score. And the batter is going to be Corbin Blight, cleanup hitter who struck out his first time up. Curveball in for a strike. Nothing in one. So the Hawks with a quick answer. Another curveball in for strike two. So quickly, 0-2. So Blight's going to have to protect the plate here.
foul back. Blight able to protect. Keeps the count 0 and 2. Catches the corner. Well, they're gonna say it was foul. Oh, it looked like it landed in fair territory, but they're gonna say it's a foul ball. Ooh. Wish we had a replay on that one. That looked pretty close, but they're gonna say it was foul, so Bannon will go back to second base. Bauman at second. Karen and Freeman at first. Corbin Blight at the plate. deck, Jake Bryant already has an RBI single in this game. Foul back. So Blight making Hill work for it, wasting a lot of pitches here. Fouls it back again. So Gor Corbin Blight is not going down without a fight here. This is his best at bat so far of the game. He and Hill will do battle again. Fly ball, deep left field. Way back, it's off the vent, off the fence. Bauman's gonna score. Freeman's gonna come into third and hold. It's gonna be an RBI double for Corbin Blight and we're tied at five. <laughs> Corbin Blight got every bit of that one, RBI double. And we're all tied at five, and the batter is going to be Jake Bryant, who singled and drove in a run. And they're going to talk this one over as Bryant, with one swing of the bat, can turn this entire game around. Jacob Bryant steps in. This game is now tied at five. With a barn burner so far from Lord and Field. Curveball, ground ball. Picked up by the shortstop. They're going to go to third. They're going to tag out Blight, but the run's going to score. Freeman comes in to score on the fielder's choice. And Frontier has the lead back, six to five. So Blight caught. So Bryant's at first. Fielder's choice, and the battle will be Matt Hildreth, who singled and had an RBI his first time up. Inside ball one. Ground ball, third baseman pulls it in, nice play. Throw to first, and he's safe. He was off the bag. It's gonna be an E3, and Bryant's gonna take third. Wow, what a turn of events. So the third baseman came off the bag, 
and Bryant, heads up, took third base. So a couple of errors this inning, a couple of hit batsmen. And the batter is gonna be Kalen Number Evans. Fielder. Number four, Kalen Evans. And taking second base is Hildred, so we'll steal that easy. Runners at second and third for Kale and Evans. Ground ball to third. Throw to first, and the side is retired. But the Red Hawks come back and score four. We play two from Lord and Field. It's Frontier six, Wakona five. This is Red Hawk Playoff Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Leading off in the top of the third for the Warriors, the first baseman, number two, Chad Howe. There we go. There we go, Wade. Kalen Evans. <laughs> Kalen Evans runs down that one for out number one. Great play by Kalen. The pitcher, number 36, Tanner Hill. That'll bring up Tanner Hill, the pitcher. Strike one to Hill. Hill fouls it back. That was a great play by Kalen Evans. All inside. Ball to second. Picked up by Barnes. Over to first. Two down. So Hill is out four to three. And the batter will be Gabe Verde. Verde walked and scored a run. The shortstop did. Shortstop, number seven, Gabe Verde. Grab ball to Bauman. That's short. Picks it up, throws to first. And a much needed 1 2 3 inning for Frontier. We go to the bottom of the third. Frontier 6, Wakona 5. This is the MIAA Division 3 Western Mass semifinals on Frontier Community Access Television. Nothing across for Wakona in the top of the third inning at the end of two and a half. Frontier leads 6 5. When we go to the bottom of the third, it's going to be Garrett DeForest, Kyle Barnes, and Connor Wakis. That's actually how we started the last inning. That big four run inning where Frontier took the lead back. Leading off in the bottom of the third. DeForest was hit by a pitch and was caught stealing third base in that last inning. Wind up and the pitch. Fly ball, center field. Just behind the shortstop, it's gonna fall in for a hit. So Garrett DeForest is in with a bloop single. And the batter is gonna be Kyle Barnes. Reached on an error and scored his last time up. Second baseman, number 18, Kyle Barnes. Ball 
ball outside. One and no to Barnes. That run is on. Barnes fouls it off as Wakis was off at the pitch. Excuse me, uh, DeForest was off at the pitch. Wakis is on deck for Frontier. Round ball to third. Flow is high, too high, and it's going to be an error again. So it would have been a routine double play ball, the high throw. That's going to be an error on the third baseman. And runners at first and second. Nobody out, and Connor Wakis is going to up. He scored a run his last time up and reached on an error by the third baseman. So, Wakona having their challenges in the field today, and that's allowed Frontier to get back in this game. You do not want to give these guys too many of those freebies. Oh, Wakis gets hit by a pitch. So that's the third hit batsman in this game. And once again, as Wakis was looking like he was going to square the bunt, took one in the back. And the bases are loaded. Everybody moves up. And Brian Bauman is going to be the hitter. The shortstop, number six, Brian Bauman. Bauman got hit by a pitch and scored a run his last time up. He scored two runs in this game. So Wakona is given Frontier a whole bunch of advantages here that they do not necessarily want to give. Curveball catches the outside corner. Fans didn't like that call. I think that was a little bit outside, but I think it was just in the zone enough to be able to call be called a strike. Nothing there. One and nothing in one to Bauman. Ground ball foul. Oh and two count to Bauman. Wake is at first, Barnes at second, DeForest at third. Four errors looming large for Wakona in this game. Curveball fouled back by Bauman, protecting the plate, still 0 and 2. Four errors and three hit by pitches. That's been, I think, one of the big stories here. One of the reasons why Frontier is back out in front in this game. Bauman off the end of the bat. It's going to drop in for a hit. DeForest is going to score. Coming around, throw to the plates, and he's out at home. So Barnes caught down at home, but the Forest scores. It's a single for Bauman. And Wakis moves to third. That makes the score seven to five. And the batter will be Kiernan Freeman. Had a two RBI double his last time up. Number seven, Kiernan Freeman. And he scared two runs this game. Dancing off first is Bauman. Deep fly ball to center field. First pitch swinging. And he will haul it in. And tagging and throwing. But scoring is going to be Connor Wakis. So it's a sack fly and an RBI for Kiernan. And 
and that makes it eight to five. Bauman stays at first. Two gone, and the batter is going to be Corbin Blight. He had an RBI double his last Two time. Hey, five. Third baseman, number five, Corbin Blight. Hey, Corbin. Pick up play. Bauman back at first. Strike down the middle. Put it in play now. Put it in play. Bow back. He's got the hot dog guy on that one. No balls, two strikes. Hey, Crouch, come on. Bauman's going to run, and he's going to steal second. No throw. Come on, Corp, now. Blight at the plate. Bauman leads off second. Go from the stretch. And the pitch. Curveball outside. It evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Fly ball, actually pop up out of play. So Blight has made Hill work quite a bit in this game. At last at bat, he had fouled off six or seven pitches. He's only fouled off a couple here. Nobody, Brian! Nobody! Fly ball in shallow left and pulled in for the out to retire the side. But Frontier picks up two more. The end of three. It's Frontier eight, Lacona five. This is the MIAA Western Mass Division Three semifinals. Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. And we go to the top of the fourth inning, the Frontier Red Hawks, who have put up runs in every inning in this game. Lead by a score of eight to five. It's gonna be the top of the order for Wakona, Jake Guy, Kevin Huben, and Kate Frazier. Guy had a single and an RBI and scored a run. His last time up. Strike on the inside corner. So with the exception of that second inning, Hildreth has been great today. He got hit around pretty good in that second for a five spot. Ball on the outside corner. He gets the count. One ball, one strike. Curve ball in for strike two. That was a nasty hook.
Oh, that curve just missed on the outside corner. That looked like it was way outside and it just hooked in, but didn't quite catch the corner. Two balls, two strikes. Pop up. That's going to be playable for Barnes. Makes the catch. One out. Batter will be Huben. Huben had a bunt RBI suicide fielder, squeeze. Number five, Kevin Huben. That big five run uh, second inning for Wakona. And inside ball one. Ground ball to Bauman. Picks it up, throws the first. He got it. Two up, two down. Frontier has retired the last five batters. Nice play, six. Second baseman, number nine, Caden Frazier. And the batter is Frazier. He's walked twice today. Ooh, he took one in the back that time. So Frazier goes down to first base. Took that one right between the numbers. That's the first hit batsman for Hildreth. Wakona has hit three frontier batters in this game. And the batter will be Gabe Davis. Singled and it had an RBI. Designated in second. hitter, number 34, Gabe Davis. Huben leads off first. And the pitch. Inside corner, strike one. Hildreth looks back the runner. Makes a quick move to Freeman. Cuban's back. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him. Nothing in two. I'll tell you, Hildreth not at all afraid of the cleanup man for Wakona. Went right at him on that one. 0-2. Oh Ground ball to Bauman. And forces the out at second to retire the side. No runs, no hits. One left. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Frontier 8. Wakona 5. This is the MIAA Western Mass Division 3 semifinals on Frontier Community Access Television. the end of three and a half innings, Frontier 8, Wakona 5. In the field for Wakona in the bottom of the fourth inning. When we go to the bottom of the fourth. Now playing third It'll be base Jacob Bryan, Kyle Lee, Matt Hildreth, six, and Kalen Evans. Bernardo. The hitters. And we have a new third baseman, Bernardo, comes in and plays third for Wakona. Jake Bryant reached on a field of his choice his last time up in an RBI single. His first time up. Designated hitter number 23, Jacob Bryant. Big Jake steps in. Wind up in a pitch. Inside, ball one. High and inside, 2-0 the count. Strike. Two balls, one strike to Jacob Bryant.
Line drive to left, foul. It's a long strike. Just got out in front of it a little bit. Two balls, two strikes to Bryant. Again, Frontier with an eight to five lead. They've put up runs in every inning in this one so far. Let's see if they can keep that streak going. And Bryant bounces that one foul. Good job protecting the plate there. High and inside. Full count now, three balls, two strikes. Nobody out. And the bottom of the fourth. Winner of this game gets the winner of Tacona and South, the Connick rather, and Southwick playing today at Westfield State. The pitch. Fly ball. Behind shortstop. And the left fielder will come in and make the play. One down. And the batter will be Matty Hildreth. Hildreth. Reached on an error his last time up and had an RBI single. And despite that second inning, has done a great job pitching. The pitcher, number nine, Matt Hildreth. He's retired. Six of the last, or five of the last six batters he's faced. High ball one. Pop up, playable by the shortstop. Hauls it in. Two up, two down, and the batter will be Kalen Evans. The left fielder, number four, Kalen Evans. Evans has made a couple of nice plays in the field. Shows bunt, does not offer, ball one. They, they see did not go, so that's 1-0 to Evans. Fly ball, deep left field, way back, way back. Foul. <laughs> He got every bit of that one. He straightens that out, and that one is gone. Well, he was due. He's had a rough spot this, uh, at the plate today. But he really turned on that high fastball. Ends up being a long strike for K-Dog. Evan steps back in. Hill with the pitch. Base hit, left field, in the gap. It's going to go to the wall. Evans has got first. He's got second with a stand-up double. A two-out double for Kalen Evans. And the batter will be Garrett DeForest. <laughs> Evans knocked that one right into the gap. Eric DeForest, the batter, with two down and a runner in scoring position. First pitch at the knees, called strike one. Garrett scored a couple of runs, hit by a pitch, and has his hit today. And he bunts with two outs. Hill, bare hands it, throws to first. Got it. Close play, but he got him at first. Nice work by Hill. Cut down one to three, and that retires the side. We have played four at UMass. At the end of four, it's Frontier eight and Lakota five. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Off the top we of go the now to the top of the fifth Lakota, inning, the and the Lakota Warriors. Joey 
are down to their final six outs. Bunt down the third baseline. Blight can't quite handle it. That's going to be a bunt single. So a bunt single for Wakona. That was Joe Warwick with the bunt single. Number 14, Bob Archambault. Bob Archambault is the batter. He flied out to the shortstop. His first time up. Ball low. One ball, no strikes. Pickoff play, unsuccessful. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Strike at the knees. Two balls, one strike. Runner at first, nobody out. Top of the fifth inning. Pop up, Bauman making the play, one out. And the batter will be the first baseman, Chad Howes. Howes has singled, scored a run, and flied out to the left fielder. A great play by Kalen Evans, which definitely robbed him of extra bases. Just outside, ball one. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. To Howes. Fly ball, left field, foul. Just hooked foul. Makes the count, one ball, two strikes. Uh, Chris Williams wants to talk it over with Maddie. Stretch the pitch. Curveball. Oh, just missed. That looked like it hooked in there. Even Garrett DeForest looks back and says, You gotta be kidding me. Two balls, two strikes to Howes. Another curveball fouled off. Keeps the count even, two balls, two strikes. I'll tell you, great weather today for this one. Strike. 
strike three at the knees. Howes knew it too, caught looking. So two down, and the batter will be the pitcher, Tanner Hill. He'll ground it out to second his first time up. And he's, it's his last time up, rather, and he singled and scored an RBI and scored a run in that second inning. Pickoff play, not successful. Just outside. One ball, no strikes to Hill. Foul tip. Back to the backstop. That evens the count, one ball, one strike. Two down in the top of the fifth. Curve ball, swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That one completely fooled Hill. Two. two balls, two strikes. Curve ball, strike three, swinging. Two straight strikeouts to end the inning for Matt Hildreth. And they strand another runner. No runs, no hits. Uh, one hit, rather, and one left on. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Frontier eight, Rockona five. This is the MIAA Western Mass Division three. Semi-finals in Frontier Community Access Television. In the top of the fifth inning for Rockona, no runs, one hit, no errors, one left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It'll be Kyle Barnes, Connor Wakis, and Brian Bauman up for the Frontier Red Hawks. After surrendering five runs to Wakona in the second, have put up goose eggs in the last three innings. Leading off in the bottom of the last inning was the only one the Frontier did not score in in this game. The second baseman, number 18, Kyle Barnes. Barnes reached on an error twice by the third baseman in this game and has scored a run. Outside ball one. Strike on the outside corner, one ball, one strike. Outside, two balls, one strike. Low ball three. The count runs to three and one on. Barnes. Fouled off, three balls, two strikes. Got it, looking. So Barnes, caught looking. His first strikeout of the game. And the batter will be Connor Wakis. He was hit by a pitch and scored his last time up. He reached on an error and flied out in this one. And he scored two runs in this game. Curveball, catches the outside corner, strike one. Throw goes over the pitcher's head. See that very often. 
especially a pitcher as tall as Hill. Pop up. Playable for the shortstop. And Verde hauls it in for out number two. Two up, two down, and the batter is going to be Brian Bauman. Single that stole the base and has scored two runs. He's actually had two hits, hit by a pitch, scored two runs, and stole the base his last time around. Number six, Brian Bauman. Curveball in for a strike. Nothing in one to Bauman. Curveball, Bauman pokes it to the right field and just foul. No ball, two strikes. Oh, and two to Bowman. High ball one. Just his glove. Outside, two balls, two strikes. Curveball, strike three. Bauman caught looking, so two strikeouts in the inning for Hill. And that retires the side. We go to the top of the sixth. Frontier eight, Wakona five. This is the MIAA Division Three Western Mass semifinals. Frontier can be the access to the Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. With the Division I championship game between the Westfield Bombers and the East Long Meadow Spartans, and that'll be followed by our Division Three game at 115. Our final game set to start at 4 o'clock is the Western Mass Division 4 final. The Division 4 semifinals are scheduled to be played tomorrow. One game has Ware against Lennox, the other Hopkins and Granby. Okay. Top of the sixth is the Warriors. Seven, to try and get back in this. They trail 8 to 5. We just got word that Taconic is leading Southwick, so it's likely 
if Frontier hangs on, they will face Taconics. It'll be a one versus two if that's the case here on Saturday. Strike. Actually, that was a ball. Looked like a strike. 2-0 the count to Verdi. Grounded out to Bauman. His last time up. That's a strike. The pitch was almost in the same place. Three and one. So much for consistency. Three and one the count. Ball four. As Verdi walks on a questionable call. The batter is going to be Jake Guy. He flied out to the second baseman his last time up. Actually, he flied up to the second baseman twice in this game, and he singled and driven in a run. Xavier Santiago getting loose in the bullpen for the Red Hawks. Depending on what happens here, the X-Man could end up coming in now or for the seventh. Center fielder, number 11, Jake Guy. <laughs> and a quick throw back. ball. Barnes can't pick it up. Everybody's safe. An infield hit for Jake Guy. So Verdi advances. Guy is at first. And that'll be all for Matty Hildreth. Pitched a great game. He will exit, and Xavier Santiago will come in. So the X-Man will come in to try to close this one out, get the final six outs, and punch Frontier's ticket to the Western Mass Division Three Finals. The pitching change, this game coming to you from old Lord Field at UMass Amherst. So Xavier Santiago comes on in relief of Matt Hildreth. Two runners on, nobody out. And the batter is going to be Kevin Huben, the left fielder. Santiago, wild pitch in the backstop. That's not a good way to start, and the runners advance. So the tying run is at the plate. in the Frontier bullpen. Santiago, strike. One ball, one strike. One and one, the count. Runners at second and third. And a bunt, well played. And a run scores, everybody's safe. So a perfect bunt laid down by Huban. And Verdi scores, and it's eight 
to six, Frontier. Guy advances to third. And the batter is going to be Caden Frazier, the second baseman. So a little small ball pushes a run across. And now there are runners at the corners. And the go-ahead run is at first. So the tying run is at first. The go-ahead run is at the plate. Caden Frazier is the batter. Again, nobody out. Right on the outside corner, 0-1. So this is getting interesting here in the Sixth inning. Inside, ball one. Evens the count, one ball, one strike. The runner was off with the pitch, fouled off. One ball, two strikes. Santiago from the stretch. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikes him out. That's a big strikeout as Frazier goes down on strikes. One gone. And the batter will be Gabe Davis. The designated hitter. The DH, number 34, Gabe Davis. DeForest giving some signals to his pitcher. Now we're going to have a uh, little discussion here. Frontier leads eight to six. Wakona has runners at the corners, one out, and their cleanup hitter. And DH, Gabe Davis, at the plate. Santiago looks the runner back, and the pitch. And it's a ball. And Huban takes second. Now runners in scoring position at second and third. From the stretch, Santiago fouled off by Davis. One and two. Ball just outside. Two balls, one strike. Outside. Three balls, one strike. So Santiago in danger of walking the bases loaded. Line drive, base hit. One run scores. A second score is coming in. And we are all tied at eight, just like that. An RBI, two RBI single by Gabe Davis. And that makes the score eight to eight. So that denies Hildreth a win, or a chance for a win here. And we are all tied back up at A apiece. 
What do we think? Now we're going to have a substitution, I think, here. Chris Williams is coming to the mound. That's the, those are the first runs that have been given up since the second inning by Frontier. And we got a pinch runner coming in for Davis. Now running at first base for Gabe Davis, number 33, Dylan Melly. And Chris Williams going to the mound. And we have a pitching change. So Santiago will leave. A pitching change. We're coming to you from Lord and Field at UMass. This is the MIAA Western Bass Division Three semifinals on Frontier Community Access Television. So Dylan Apinel comes in. Of course, Dylan through that great game in the playoffs against the last game against Athol. First pitch swinging by Warnock is fouled off. Strike one. Appenell won that quarterfinal matchup against Athol in convincing fashion. Now he has to come in in relief. Line drive, base hit to right. Solid single. So Wakona has two runners aboard. One out, and the batter is going to be Bob Archibald. Bob has flied out to Bauman his last two times up and singled and scored a run. The right fielder, number 14, Bob Archibald. So the go-ahead runs are on first and second. And one out. Ball outside. One and oh the count. Strike down the middle. One, one ball, one strike. To Archambault. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. One and two to count. The pitch fouled off. I hope to God I didn't hit my car. <laughs> That was a laser beam looking for the parking lot. One ball, two strikes. Curve ball outside. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. The score is eight to eight. It's been a wild semifinal. Winner is probably going to get to Connick on Saturday. Pitch. Inside and high. That evens the count of three balls and two strikes. Foul back. Full count, two runners on, one out in the sixth. Ground ball, Freeman picks it up. He's going to pitch it to Apinal. No, and he didn't get him. Apinal's going to say what? Apinal said he got the base, but he said he did not get him. So that's going to be an error, I think, on the pitcher. And it's going to load the bases for Chad Howes, the first baseman. So the bases are loaded, one out. And Howes 
with a chance to bust it open big time with one swing of the bat. Chris Williams is trying to get a clarification from the ump as exactly what happened, but it looked like Appenell didn't quite get to the bag in time. So Chad Howes will step in against Dylan Apino. First baseman, number two, Chad Howes. Strike down the middle. Nothing in one to Howes. And they're going to suicide squeeze, and they're going to take the lead. There's nobody covering first. Did he get him? Got him at first, but a run scores on the squeeze bunt. That brings home Davis, and it's a lead for Wakona on the bunt by Howes. The pitcher. Number 36, Tanner Hill. And it's 9-8 Wakona. Runners at second and third, and Tanner Hill is the batter. So what a turn of events here. A four-run sixth for the Warriors, and they take the lead back. Powell back by Hill. One and one in the count. Appenel from the stretch. The pitch, curveball. Misses. Ooh, boy. That looked pretty good to me. Frontier Faithful don't like it. Two balls, one strike. Two outs, two on. They're going to call a strike on the outside corner on that one. So, not sure if that was a makeup call or what, but this is a very, very inconsistent strike zone today. Curveball, ground ball to third, bobbled, throw to first, dug out by Freeman to retire the side. Good play by Kiernan. That saves a run, and that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and Wakona has taken the lead back. It's Wakona 9, Frontier 8. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the sixth now, and Karen and Freeman step in for... Meeting off for Frontier. Frontier in the home half of the sixth. The first baseman, number seven, Kiernan Freeman. Caden Frazier is the new pitcher for Wakona. Strike down the middle, 0 and 1 to Kiernan Freeman. Ball one low. Wind up at the pitch. Fouled off by Freeman. One ball, two strikes on Kiernan. Winner of this game will get to Connick in the Western Mass Final here on this field on Saturday. Connick is defending Western Mass champions. Strike three. Freeman caught looking.
The batter will be Corbin Blight. Third baseman, number five, Corbin Blight. Curveball, in for a strike. Nothing in one to Corbin. Ball outside. One ball, one strike. Inside corner, one ball, two strikes. Ground ball off the pitcher, off the second base bag, and Blight's on with a seeing eye single. So the tying run is at first base, and the batter is going to be Jake Bryant. Bryant's reached base twice today. Flied out to left his last time up. Quick move to the first. Safe. The designated hitter, number 23, Jacob Bryant. Bryant digs in. Ball one in the dirt. Quick move. Just back in time was Blight. That was very, very close. Frazier's got a good move. Ball in the dirt. 2-0 the count. On deck is Dylan Appenall, the pitcher. Outside, 3-0. All four, so Jake Bryant's aboard. So Bryant at first, Blight at second, and the batter is gonna be Matt Hildreth. So Hilly will bat. Instead of Apidal. Now batting, re-entering the game for Frontier, number nine, Matt Hildreth. <laughs> Hildreth really had a good game against Athol, knocked in four runs. He would duly love to knock in a couple here and take the lead back. Ball outside. 1-0 the count. Right on the outside corner. One ball, one strike to Hildreth. One out, two on. Frontier trailing by one in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Conference at the mound as Frazier ties his shoe. I think uh, Eldridge wants to switch bats.
the pitch. Hildreth pops it up behind second base. That's playable and out. Did he, whoa, did he drop it? Did he drop it? No? Okay, well, I guess he caught it. <laughs> Looked like he dropped it. Hildreth flies to the second base, but Kalen Evans doubled his last time up. He could really get a hold of one here. Runners lead off first and second. And the pitch. Strike one inside. Nothing in one to Kalen. Ball in the dirt, skips behind the catcher, and both runners advance. So, pass ball has two runners in the scoring position for Frontier. So a single could tie or take the lead here. White at third, Bryant at first. Outside for a ball. Ball low. Three balls, one strike. On deck is the catcher, Garrett DeForest. Outside, so Evans takes a walk. And the bases are loaded. For Garrett DeForest. And a conference on the hill. Evans at first, Brian at second. The catcher, number two. And Blight Garrett at DeForest. third, and DeForest the hitter. So Garrett DeForest, a chance to go legend here. On the stretch. Pitch outside, ball one. Foul back. One ball, one strike. Frontier can take the lead back here. There'll be three outs away from a final and a date with Taconic on Saturday. Strike at the knees. One ball, two strikes. Ball, strike three, swinging. And Wakona gets out of the inning. So Frontier leaves them loaded. We go to the top of the seventh. Wakona nine, Frontier eight. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for six years running. 
Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. We go to the top of the seventh inning. And the fourth pitcher of the game for Frontier is on the hill. That's Kalen Evans. He moves from left field to the mound. Gabe Verdi is the batter the for Wakona. Evans. Inside ball one. Hawks left the bases loaded in the sixth. That could be a killer. Wakona can add to this lead here. Strike down the middle. One ball, one strike to Verdi. Ground ball to second. Barnes over to first. Put out four to three, one down. And the batter will be Jake Guy, the center fielder. The center fielder, number 11, Jake Guy. Evans winds and deals. Curveball in for a strike. Oh, and won the count. Fly ball right field. And a great play in the outfield by that Hildreth. Oh boy. That was a frozen rope. And they got the sun. You can tell the sun got in his eyes, but Hildreth was able to pull it in. And that's a big out for Frontier. Left fielder, number five. And that brings Kevin up Cuban, Cuban, the left fielder. With two down in the seventh. Evans winds and deals. The pitch just outside. 1 0. Ground ball to Barnes. Barnes gobbles it up, throws to first. And a 1 2 3 inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Can Frontier make a comeback? The end of six and a half. It's Wakona nine, Frontier eight. This is Red Hawk Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. It'll be Kyle Barnes, Connor Wakis, and Brian Bauman, the three up at the bottom of the seventh. Frontier trails nine to eight. They need two runs to win. One run to force extra innings. The winner faces Taconic for the West the Division Three Championship on Saturday. Barnes struck out looking his last time up. He's reached twice on errors and has scored a run. Facing Caden Frazier. Frazier winds and deals inside ball one. One down the middle. One ball, one strike. In, oh, inside corner. Strike. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. 
On drive, snagged by the shortstop. What a play by Gabe Verde as Barnes got every bit of that one. One out, the batter will be Waitkiss. That was a line shot that had extra bases written all over it and Verde snagged it. Frontier down to their last two outs. Waitkiss at the plate. High and outside, ball one. That ball was labeled. Off the end of the bat, it's gonna be a tough play. Over the pitcher, three to one, two outs. And it's up to Brian Bauman. As Caden Frazier has done a great job in relief. And Brian Bauman looking to extend the season a little while longer. On deck is Karen Freeman. Strike one. Outside, one ball, one strike. Strike at the knees. One ball, two strikes. Frontier is down to their last strike. Bauman digs in. Ground ball, base hit to left field. Well, the Hawks are still alive. Bauman singles to left. And that brings up Kiernan Freeman. A swing of the bat could send Frontier to the championship. The first baseman, number seven, Kiernan Freeman. Freeman digs in from the left side of the plate. Bauman leads off first. He is a threat to run. Frazier's gonna keep a close eye on Bauman. Try not let him get in the scoring position. Swing and a miss, strike one. Freeman scored two runs. Is that a hit? A sacrifice? Curve ball just missed. One ball, one strike. Bauman leads off first. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two. And once again, Frontier is down to their final strike. Bauman at first. 9-8, Wakona Lees. Now a quick conference at the mound. Chris Williams will come down and talk to his hitter. Freeman digs in, one and two the count. The pitch, Freeman fouls it back to stay alive, protects the plate. Tying runs at first, winning runs at the plate. Bottom of the seventh. 
Winner goes to the championship on Saturday against Taconic. And the pitch, outside, two balls, two strikes. On deck is Corbin Blight, the cleanup hitter. Freeman digs in. Got that open stance, Bauman leads off first. The pitch, curveball outside. That runs the count full, three balls and two strikes. Stretch, the pitch, Bauman's off with the pitch. Strike three! Caught the inside corner, it's over. And the Wakona Warriors beat the Frontier Red Hawks in an upset, nine to eight. And it will be an all Berkshire final on Saturday as Wakona will take on Taconic, Taconic here on Saturday afternoon. The final score, the Wakona Warriors nine, the Frontier Red Hawks eight. Ralek Eckel, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins. So long from UMass, you've been listening and watching Frontier Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television.